Hi everybody, I'm Mary Genge and I'm back here again on another Thursday talking to Sharon Campbell Raymond. Um, if you've been following us, you know Sharon has quite an amazing story. She is an inspirational woman and she's learned a lot through her various uh, life challenges. And if you don't know the whole story, go watch our previous yeah, <laughs> our previous right. post because it's quite an amazing story. Yeah. But today specifically, um, we're going to share something very helpful with you. It's a less than four weeks until Christmas mm -hmm. and we've got a lot on our plates we are making food we are shopping I mean those are jobs we're doing so we're physically doing things but we also have anxiety some people are very anxious about all the social events that yes. we're to, to we have to attend and then some people have a lot of stress with family situations so That's there's right. just a lot going on even though we love Christmas don't mm -hmm. we we love it but it's then it just carries a lot with us yeah. so today Sharon's going to share something very very important and it's so simple you may not even believe it but let's find the answer to dealing with all this stress and anxiety is breathing <laughs> <sighs> sounds so simple it sounds so simple right but taking a breath is one of the greatest things that you can do to be able to find that inner peace and get that focus back I've called it the APB remember from a couple of weeks ago awareness that... pause breathe Awareness, pause, and breathe. And that breath is so important. Even taking just three breaths in a row would help so much just to refocus, to get that inner peace, to be able to be back in track of what you're doing, right? Yes. And But just breathing, I breathe... How many times a day do I breathe? You breathe approximately 23,040 breaths a day. <laughs> approximately 23,040 approximately. breaths a day. So That's you're right. saying I'm not doing it right. Well, So that breathing isn't good enough. That keeps me alive. Yes. <laughs> Barely, eh, Mary? <laughs> yes. It keeps us going, but what happens is that's how come we tire so easily, because we don't get deep enough breaths, mm -hmm. and we get the foggy thinking, and we're not doing our best during the day. So I say to people, stop and pause. Put the APB out on yourself. Pause and take a breath. And while you're taking this breath, it has to be a little bit deeper than just the, the normal okay, breathing so that you get caught breathe? in. I usually tell people when I'm, I'm at a group and, and uh, the audience, I have them breathe like they're breathing in a balloon. So you would take a deep breath in, and then I have put up my hand and... And then I pause. So again, as if you're blowing up a balloon, taking a great big breath in. As if you're blowing out the balloon, Mary. Yeah. And pause and breathe again. Okay. That's what the breathing that we usually do is called upside down breathing. We breathe in our chest, but we never really get a deep breath yes. into, our, into our tummies and, and expanding the lungs. And that breath, as if you're going to do, blow up a balloon, really does get that extra air in there and it's blowing it out. And do people do that simple process when you suggest it? Well, you know, there's lots of times that I go to speak to people and I'm talking to them about it and I show them this and they don't do it. And guess why not, Mary? The itty bitty shitty committee. Yes, that committee that gets inside it's of your head. Committee. It's a busy committee. It's in there a lot, you know. That committee starts doing it, and you know we don't we don't do the things that we want to because do you're you're embarrassed, you, or you're just thinking I'm not worth it, or uh, there's probably a couple of things probably with that, things, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. So, and then today in her or this week in her blogs, Sharon mm -hmm. does wonderful blogs, which you can follow on her website CherylCampbellRaymond.com, and you talked about the three point relax. Now, yes. what is that? Tell us what that is. Tell us. Well, most of the time what happens is our jaws, as we're sitting doing work at the computer, let's say your jaw starts to get tight and your shoulders tighten up and you, you're sitting tense like this and, and that starts to cramp your, you know, your neck and you start to get headaches and you start to tire a lot more. And so what I say to people is that when you take that deep breath in and you just pause and then as you let that breath out, consciously think of relaxing your jaw, your shoulders, just letting your legs relax Shoulders. and your legs relax okay. and that should help you to feel more grounded now it doesn't happen right away sometimes you've got to stop and think about these things but it consciously as we do it and then it becomes more unconscious and what you'll find is that you'll be pausing through your day just to take that APB, that breath. Mm -hmm. And doing that one to two times every hour really does help us. Okay, so I'm feeling relaxed. I've taken the breath. I have my shoulders, my jaw, my hips, my legs are calm. But my mind is still going. 
Thought. Now what do I do? Because I do have that itty bitty shitty committee all the time. My and mind's I've, going. Ch, ch, ch. It's so racing, right? It's mm-hmm. racing all the time. We have these thoughts all the time racing through our minds. Again, that's that squirrel to own. Let's bring us back to focus, and that breath can do that. Mm-hmm. The other thing is that as those thoughts start going through your mind, you can think of a word. So you can think of a word or a phrase that would help you to just bring that back to focus. Mm-hmm. I use peace. Mm-hmm. And uh, as we go into this Lenten season, one of the themes is peace. And mm-hmm. to find that inner yes. peace, it doesn't just happen. We have to work at it a wee bit. And that's where the breath comes in. That's where mm-hmm. using the word that if we start to get unfocused or we start to get that committee in our brains, that we bring it back to that. Mm-hmm. And that we just breathe. It's so simple, but it's yeah. doing it a couple times an hour right. is so effective. And this is part of your neuro mind shift package too isn't it this is it's 21 days because to really learn to do something it takes time you just don't all of a sudden i'm going to do it this afternoon and for the rest of my life i'm i'm in the right place the 21 day neuro mind shift decreases the stress response and helps strengthen your brain your overall brain Mm -hmm. and because your brain actually gets tired yeah the more thinking that you do right yeah right Uh, I find that as my day goes along, I'm just my brain just isn't working as much. I'm definitely a morning person, but a lot of people say they're morning people. That's because their brain is fresher. That's right. In the morning, That's right. right? You're not as exhausted. And then you can manage your disruptions. You can manage the demands that are put upon you from your family, from your job. And then from like the season, we're back to Christmas. We all love the joy of the season, but then we find yeah. it stressful. But don't we want to enjoy it more? So let's Download that neuro mind shift. Get your neuro mind shift that Sharon's mm-hmm. giving you at the great deal for until Christmas time. So you also shared with us and that there's an article called Preventing Occupational Stress in Healthcare Workers. Mm-hmm. And it tells them that to healthcare workers, I mean, of anybody needs to maintain a high level of performance. That's right. And to be productive. And you're saying that your process will very much help help healthcare workers because yes. they have to pause and relax yep. and get recharged. That's right? right. And as you know, Mary, my mother-in-law has been in hospital and yes. some of the nurses, like they're fantastic. They've been doing so much for her. You know, there's a lot of stress there. You know, they're running, they've got these shifts that they're trying to get changed over and things like that. And they've got, you know, they are stressed out and just taking that breath and then learning, you know, the steps as we get this mind memory, as we've talked yeah, about, that's right. to be able to bring back that focus and relax so that you have that energy, that performance, that productivity, and to be able to enjoy it. That's right. part of it. Now, over the last couple of weeks, we've talked to you quite a bit about the labyrinth yes. and the amazing ways a labyrinth can take you to a path, to the center, pause, and bring you back out. There's a lot to understand about a labyrinth. A lot of people are saying, so I don't understand. There's a PDF on Sharon's website that you can download, and this is what you get. And with that PDF, um, Sharon gives it to you. There's no fee for it. Um, you, she will help walk you through the process. And if you download it in the next little while, you get another bonus for free. Right. So on the back of it, when you when you print it, or the second page when you print, will be the instructions of the labyrinth and how to use it, and just some basic instructions. But I've done an audio meditation of the full process through the labyrinth, and it's expanded so that you know exactly what you're doing as you go into each piece, and it's specific to what I've designed for the neural mind shift. Mm-hmm. To be able to That's shift great. that mind from that chaos to calm and feel that inner peace and that focus. Yes. So next week, what we're going to do mm-hmm. is Sharon's going to take me directly through the labyrinth. Uh, right. And you can all watch me do it. And uh, we'll all tell you how I feel before and afterwards. And uh, and you'll show what a what an amazing thing this is. It's thousands of years old, it is. proven to be a way to calm ourselves. It's not something yeah. Sharon just created, no. but it's been proven through thousands of years. So anyway, that's, um, right. that's something to look forward to next yes. week. And uh, thank you so much for being here with us. And thank you, Sharon, for sharing your wisdom again. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. And thank you, folks. God bless.